Well, Dan, they're very hopeful about these new numbers. The United States Geological Survey does a sea otter census in the spring and then it releases the numbers in the fall. Last year, things looked really good and they're hoping that trend will continue. The southern sea otter has been slowly recovering for decades, but in 2016, their numbers went way up. For the first time in recorded history, the population exceeded 3,090, hitting 3,272, a big climb from 2,900 in 2013, and near extinction at the turn of the last century. So on the one hand, sea otters are one of the just terrific endangered species stories because we went from thinking they were extinct to now having about 3,200 in California right now. Monday marks the beginning of Sea Otter Awareness Week, a big week in Monterey, where the animals are the unofficial mascot. Researchers are using the week to bring attention to the threats still facing the animals, like domoic acid poisoning. Oh yeah, that's, that's still a big issue for sea otters. Runoff from cities and agricultural fields can lead to algal blooms in the Monterey Bay and red tide from those blooms can make otters sick. With the sea otters, it does get into the sea otter food system and they take it in and we see animals coming in with neurological problems associated with domoic acid toxicity. Um, pretty, pretty sad because there's not much we can do for them at that point. Andy Johnson manages the sea otter programs at the aquarium and he says the best thing you can do to protect otters is to take care of the environment. And when you're out watching wildlife, make sure you're not disturbing them. They just stay back and watch them from a distance. Uh, take your time watching animals. Try not to disturb them, and they'll, they'll do fine. There are a number of ways to get involved with Sea Otter Awareness Week. The Monterey Bay Aquarium has several events going on this week. There is also a sea otter scavenger hunt going on around town. We've posted details about exactly what that is on our website, ksbw.com. Dan. Thank you, Caitlin. The Sea Otter census numbers are expected out on Thursday.